I do feel that um, a lot of you too might get into a situation where you know you you are so enthralled by something and then you proceed ahead with it and once you're emotionally invested into something you don't see any other options okay so don't rush into things too fast so once again in king of wands here is um this is in your past position so this is some somebody who's very spirited i am guessing this is your energy because um, I am sensing here as well that you are very spirited and you are rushing in to see things a little too quickly. A lot of you might be dealing with like a fire sign, okay? A fire sign, male or female, uh, in the romantic sector or it could be in a work situation in which um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In this situation, I do sense here that... Um, their role in your life is to force you to kind of like to stand up for yourself, okay? Is what I'm sensing here. If this is a troublesome energy that you've all, you've been dealing with for quite some time, I do sense that uh, once and for all, you are going to be able to give them a piece of your mind during this week. And what's crowning you here is the Two of Swords, okay? So yeah, that period of laying low, that period of um, trying to do everything to appease the other person and trying to like um, smooth over the wrinkles is definitely over, okay? You're coming into your own sense of power and you might not have like the, um, the confidence to do it, but I do feel more than anything, there is going to be a change around in this situation and despite what other people think, you are going to hold your own, okay? You are going to hold your own. Um, I'm getting here the Knight of Coins in the uh, what you're not aware of uh, position. So subconsciously, what I do feel is that um, as the Knight of Wands, ener uh, I'm, excuse me, as the Knight of Pentacles type of energy, this person is slow to action, okay? So um, there is an earth sign around you. And I do feel this uh, spread is pretty like uh, work oriented. So it's sort of like um, there's somebody that you trust and it's an, an earth sign, okay? A Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. You're kind of like out there defending yourself and you're kind of hoping the other person would have your back or at least to step in and say a few words of encouragement. And yet they're kind of like sitting back and you're wondering why that is. So I do feel that in general, um, earth signs are very cautious or very stable. So maybe they have advised you in the past not to do something and you didn't take their advice and you're going to proceed ahead with it. And as a result, they're kind of like taking a step back because they feel that, um, you know, uh, each person has their own decision to make in life. So they're still supportive of you. But when it comes to like um, asking them to defend something they don't believe in, they're not going to do it, okay? So this person, this earth sign is very like values based, okay? So even if they support you 100%, but they don't agree with the things that you say, they will let you know. And in the future, if you go ahead with those ideas that they don't support, they're not going to be able to help you, okay? Wow, you, you're getting a lot of court cards here. So let's see. Yeah, three court cards already. The next one is the King of Swords. A lot of you might be dealing with um, just a lot of people for this week who are possibly meddlesome, okay? Um, the King of Swords is, you know, a communicator here. In this situation, as your advice here, is that, um, let me see. <clears throat> yeah, power of discernment is a little off this week okay for all of you guys i do feel it is a little off and it is going to be problematic so you know lay low for a little bit and um be very careful about the words that are being said or thrown about and um as for this is basically your external environment here we have the king of cups <laughs> so we're getting like the whole court cards um sector so the King of Cups in the reverse position as your, for your external environment. People that you have counted on in the past. And I do feel like um, people that you hope would be there for you. They're not really agreeing with you. And they're not really supportive of your ideas. Okay, So that is going to be a little bit um, problematic for you on the emotional front. Because um, you kind of need their support. And they're kind of like nowhere to be found. So... It's a, a sense of like abandonment, okay? But don't fret. Let's see the outcome here. So the Four of Cups here is your hopes and um, fears. 
So it's kind of like four of cups not having the self-confidence to uh, proceed with whatever life dishes out to you, okay? The universe is giving you things, but you're kind of like looking at them as if they're subpar energies and you don't really want to proceed with it. At the same time, this is a, an obstinate type of energy, okay? You have abundance coming in, but you're not like... Um, you're not seizing the opportunity. So it's kind of like the things that you want are being on the offering, are being on offer, but you're not really seeing uh, the reality of the situation yet because you don't really see the big picture here, this, the main energy that I am getting. Um, as for your outcome, we do have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so um, don't create extra work for yourself is what I'm sensing here. Wrap up things that need to be wrapped up on the work front because I do sense here that people that you've counted on are kind of like, uh, they promise more than they can deliver and they're kind of flaky is what I'm sensing. And they misrepresent themselves and they kind of leave you high and dry, okay? So be very careful about um, relying on other people. Don't rely on them in general. I'm, I'm getting like a four energy, four of cups. There are three... So there are two kings and two two knights, okay? So a lot of people, those two kings, those two knights, male or female, they can uh, they were supposed to help you. They were supposed to help you finish up projects. They flaked out and you're kind of left hanging. And, um, you know, just be very careful what's going to come into the picture to come to your rescue is a queen of wands. So um, this is a fiery energy and this person actually... Um, will be there for, to help you and to basically give you that um i'm getting almost like a fairy godmother type of energy from this um woman okay it could also be a male but i'm getting like a fire sign not to confuse you with the previous fire sign from the past but i do feel this is a more like motherly a more uh, in control type of energy who is going to change the energy of this week by giving you like a word of advice or a word of support, a word of encouragement is what I'm sensing here. And at the same time, financial gains are going to be on your side, okay? All that work you're putting in because other people have flaked out, you are the sole beneficiary of the financial payout. So, you know, keep your head in the game. I do feel that you are getting support. Just make sure that, um, you are realistic about, you know, who has been there for you all along versus um, who flaked out when things get rough, okay? So hang in there, and um, your week is going to be spectacular. You have very good financial abundance here, okay? So just, um, you know, get through the motions on the work front. Don't work too hard, and don't overburden yourself, and you'll be okay. So thanks for watching.